Hey guys, Pru here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale. We're using this deck right here. I'm yet to try it out. Let's jump in some games, see what happens with the Goblin Giant. We do have one of my favorite cards, the Prince, and actually the Rage with them as well. You will get some really good clips, I'm sure, where the Prince just shouldn't hit the tower, but he actually ends up doing so, especially paired with the Rage. We'll see what happens. Let's jump in some games, and I need to get some wins. Here we go guys, game number one. So we're facing this guy from Thailand by the look of it. Not really sure what he'll be using. He does have the goblin hunt on his badges. So hopefully we don't face that because that will be very boring. But anyway, we'll just see how it goes. So we'll go goblin giant start off strong with because I'm not sitting here for about three hours to just keep waiting. And he does actually have the e-golem, which is rather strange. I mean, I mean, it's not really strange as such, but it's just not something I expected to face in this game. But that's fine though because we do have the phoenix we do have the dark prince and we've got some really good cards i don't know what spells i've got i should have probably had a look before actually starting the match but that's okay and now uh, we do have cannoneer on as well by the look of it how much elixir has this guy got you'd think he's the one using you'd think i'm the one using the e-giant uh, the elixir golem sorry we do have double bombers on bombers nice perfect so we take them out right there i'm just going to go prince because he spent so much elixir at the bridge i guess he's sponsored by some form of generator or something i don't really know he just decides to go he got him at the bridge in front of the tower sorry that it doesn't really work like that my friend and now the prince is going to work on the e-golem so really good place really good stuff he'll probably go pecker or something i'd imagine or maybe he just quits which would be nice because then it gives me the three crown and we can move on to the next one so we've got the prince we've got the evo goblin giant we've got the phoenix we've got the dark prince we've got the bomber coming down any moment now and there we go so we pick up the win game one was a success and let's jump into another one and let's see what happens here we go game number two so we'll start off strong again i just need to make sure i'm recording actually yes i am that's good i didn't waste my time in the first battle so here we go goblin giant is down right now the video is live of course and we do face the Skeleton King yet again. So this guy is doing some emotes. We'll just do... It depends what else he's got with the Skelly King, really. Because he does have bats. I'm going to rage. I know it seems a bit strange, but at least it gets the... Oh, I should have done it a tower higher. And then the Goblin Giant would have got the benefits of the rage on the tower. But that's okay. You can't win them all, I guess. And now what we can do is simply arrows. And that should take everything down. Nice. So a bit overkill on the arrows actually, I forgot I had the cannoneer on, but it's okay because we did need to cycle some spells anyway. And that's some really interesting zappies. Hmm, strange. Okay, so we'll go Goblin Giant at the bridge just to be very aggressive. And then that way the Dark Prince will get the most value from it. And now we can zap right here. That should be all but one, then we can rage. And that's looking really good guys. So the bomber should get taken out by the dark prince the goblin giant takes the tower down and now <laughs> and now we can just get some more damage and we are slowly progressing so really good really really good and now what we can do is i guess go prince in the base we'll risk it all and then we'll just go prediction arrows no okay okay so sadly not that's fine and we do get a little bit of damage from the arrows at least. But for some reason, I guess this guy insists on still defending by the look of it. So we'll just have to see really what happens. And now we will go with the... Actually, I'm just going to go really aggressive. If we lose, we lose. I'm just going to get the bomber down. Oh, he's just gone golem. Really strange play. Not really the play you want to make there, my friend. And now we've got the bomber onto the tower. We do have the golden giant on the tower as well. And then we can laugh back because he laughed at me. So nice. We pick up the win. Really interesting player. Golem at the back when he was about to get three crowned. I'm not really too sure about that one. He should have just moved on to the next game. But anyway, a win is a win. Let's see who we face this time. And hopefully we can pick up another win to keep the streak going. So we've got, we don't have Goblin Giant to start with as such. I'll just zap his tower just to get the Goblin Giant in hand because I'd rather save the bomber in case he has something like Royal Hogs or something like that. But maybe he doesn't. I'm not really too sure. So we've got the Goblin Giant down right now. He hasn't deployed anything as of yet. And there she is, the Valkyrie. So nice. So we'll do some emotes of the cards we face. That's always funny to me. And unfortunately, in this case, the zap was the spell I did sacrifice onto his tower. And of course, this is the time where they have the Inferno Dragon. So I should have known. I should have known. 
but that's okay because the valkyrie is going in the valkyrie is gone the wizard is there as well the prince is hopefully going to take this wizard down otherwise i'll be annoyed and then he will actually pick up one charge onto the tower and like i said in the intro that's the prince guys that is the current state of the default prince the regular prince that's just the, the way the card is so you might as well use it all right so we see the bomber he probably has balloon no ram rider interesting okay not really what i expected but that works come on please keep the bomber alive nice so the bomber stays up we do have the zap ready this time for the inferno dragon as i nearly accidentally deployed it in error but we'll zap right here perfect hopefully that was fine we'll go with the arrows just for the skarmy predict and for the extra damage the reason for the arrows was that instead of the rage is because i wanted the extra damage onto the inferno dragon from the spells because arrows do more damage than rage so there we go the skarmy is going to get taken out very very quickly we have a ton of goblins on the king tower we'll go in with the prince as well the prince is on the tower guys and there we go we pick up yet another win so really good game right there I can't even talk for some reason and he does say well played so we'll just hit a good game and let's jump into yet another one so we're just on a winning streak at the moment we're just tearing through all of our opponents we face Ben Tenny has the bronze Mega Knight badge and let's see what we face maybe we face Mega Knight a bronze Mega Knight badge anyway this is very strange we'll go with this and this I did sadly deploy my rage not too well oh my word okay Please take the bandit down. Nice. All right. So the bandit goes down. We could probably get away with the dark prince right here for the fact that he has the shield. Firecracker as well. It just seems to be one of these really, really, really interesting decks where they have the mega knight. They have the, the firecracker and everything else like that. And we will just have to see. So I think I can still win. I believe I can win. In fact, I know I can probably win. I'm sure I might look like an idiot in about two minutes time if I lose, but Hey, you have to have self-belief. Self-belief goes a long way. So we'll go Phoenix at the back. We do see the Valkyrie. Sadly, I won't be able to get the Prince and the Evo Goblin Giant unless he... Actually, I might be able to. It depends what he goes for the Phoenix. So we see the e -Wiz for some reason. Rather strange. And the Prince is at the bridge, which is awesome. And now... I can probably get away with it, actually. No, not with the Firecracker now, I can't. All right, so we take this down right here. We'll just go with this, just to tank for the shot. In fact, I didn't even need to do that. I keep forgetting I have Cannoneer on. I'm not used to playing with Cannoneer, and I just keep trolling all of my players for some reason, but I mean, it's what it is, unfortunately. And now the bomber is very bad. He does actually have Log as well for some reason. So this one is not really looking great. And it's going to go for this one. Are you kidding me? I actually have to go Dark Prince right here, which is sad. Then he'll just go Prince at the back behind the King right here. Nope, maybe not. Similar place, but same thing, really. So, hmm, this one's not looking great. I mean, I'll go with my own Prince. Okay, they do trade big shots. And now he'll probably... Yeah, the E was... I was going to prediction his Goblin Gang. Or predict his Goblin Gang. But... Again, it's just so unpredictable. You don't really know what people are even using at this point. We'll hover the arrows for the firecracker. Nope, never mind. Okay, so there's the Dark Prince. Sorry, the e -bobs. There she is, the Evo Firecracker. We'll use the arrows right here. And we do manage to take the firecracker down extremely quickly. The Dark Prince is still alive, but sadly does get taken out right there. And again, it's just, I can't get any damage. So we'll take a ton of damage here. But then we do need to get a ton of damage from his push. We'll go with this actually in the middle just to tank for the prince. And now that works relatively well. We can go in with the bomber. We can go in with everything. We'll just rage the troops at the bridge. And then we'll arrows as well. Come on, take everything out, please. Come on, prince. Come on, prince. He'll go e -wiz. in a second. We'll zap him. Nope, never mind. And there we go. So we pick up the win. Nice win. He puts well played. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. In fact, I might even do one more. The games are just... Actually, I'll do one more. Uh, is that game four or five? I don't really know. We'll do one more. So we'll do one more. Hopefully it's a win. If I go on to regret it, then so be it, I guess, if it's a loss. But anyway, let's see what we face. We do have this one right here. In fact, I might even do one more afterwards. We'll see. Probably not. Depends how well this one goes. <laughs> so he goes, he was in the back, which is... <laughs> which is rather interesting so okay he was at the back and now what we will do is wait for the goblin giant is it the same guy has he changed his name 
Maybe so, maybe so. So we'll go with this, we'll go in with this as well. And then we'll arrows the firecrackers just to make sure she gets taken out. Sadly, ooh, okay, the Phoenix is still alive. Well, prediction rage, and we go home empty handed, unfortunately, with the rage prediction. Okay, it's just very delayed for some reason. And we actually take out the majority of the skeleton army with the fadeaway shot from the princess tower onto the phoenix. So really good plays right here. What in the world is this? I mean, this is just Clash Royale in 2024, I guess, where you can just simply go bowler and the mandatory shot at the bridge and get some damage. But hey, what it is. All right, so we'll go with the bomber. Very strange bomber. Please work. Nice. Perfect play right there from the bomber. He actually gets a fadeaway shot as well, which is awesome to see. For some reason, my voice is starting to go now, but that's fine because this will probably just be the last one anyway. We'll end on the high versus the hog rider player. And there we go. So this one is pretty much all over, I think. I can't see myself losing. I mean, it's... Yeah, I just can't see myself losing, to put it bluntly. And now uh, what we'll do is we'll go Goblin Giant in the middle. He'll probably go Inferno Tower, which will be a good play for him. Or he will quit. And it looks like he has actually quit. So good stuff right there. We'll just rage for the extra damage to make sure we take the tower down qu quicker, should I say, if I can even talk. That's going to be it. I can barely even talk anymore for some reason. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And make sure you do try to deck out. I'll quickly show it one last time. Here it is. So feel free to use it. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.